Hello and welcome to another video. Today I have a BMW X6, it's from 2010 and like almost all these cars it has problem with FA module. I repaired this one with CG100 and you know very good when you use CG100 it is necessary after that to make coding on the car. For this job I will use the new tool. I want to show you also it works very good on coding and this is one reason why I take this small diagnostic tool because it can make also coding also online coding for VAC company, BMW and also Mercedes. I like it also because it's, it's a small tool. I can have it with me. I can put it there in the trunk. I might not in this car because this is not my car, but it was just an example. You can put it everywhere, okay? And for this job, it's more than what I needed to do it. I will plug this uh, FRM module. I will put it on the car. I switch on and we go for it. And now I put the FRM module on his place. The diagnostic is also connected. I will switch on. This car still have a problem with parking brake. This is another story. Let's give it a try. This shit works. And as I said, I use the CG100 Pro. And after that, I should make coding. We go on the scanner. We will identify the car first. This launch CRP919, it is quite fast, I do like it. I like this one with Bluetooth, I don't like with wires. But uh, it's up to you. That one with wire connection is much cheaper. I want to have a tablet what is small and I can leave it always in the car with me. Look, I put my hand, it is like almost my hand. And this was the main reason why I take this tablet, because it's quite small. Of course, I don't switch off and on, it's just forward. I have there another car who running. Because when you have a X5, X7, X6, I don't know, 5 series, it's like almost the same shit. These people have money to buy these cars, but they don't have 200 euro to buy a fucking new battery. And I tried to start to start the car, and the car didn't want to crank. I'm like almost nothing and I said what the fuck is this and I tell him just replace the battery because this is the main reason why this shit happens there and uh, of course it doesn't replace the battery but I'm not uh, pissed at all because if this problem will come in two or three weeks it's much better for me I make again the same money I don't make uh, him a uh, discount for that I mean if you are stupid you should pay okay the diagnostic identify the car I can go straight to make a diagnostic let's do it quick just to see how fast it is and it's quite fast because the dbs 7 it's amazing fast and it's also much faster because it have the original software it's not the crack version i'm sure you are interesting to see also difference between the original launch and the clone i mean like diagonal or product and this is exactly what we will do in the next video to compare these diagnostics Okay, almost everywhere have errors. I don't care about these errors. We go back. The main reason why I have this tablet is because he can make also coding. On VACARS, as I said, he can make also online codings. But right now we go on coding because we must to check this FRM module if you have the same V number or not. And usually it doesn't have it because the CG100 cannot make a proper repair i might here repair the module it's okay but you should make coding after that it works doesn't understand me wrong look everything works perfect okay you press here it's really everything working perfect it's not complaining about that but from my experience with cg100 i know for sure I will have another VIN number. From my experience, I will tell you 
it have this problem let's stop the car let's put it again okay let's go on coding it's connected to the internet it has two years free updates and for his price i do believe is the best on this moment at least in my opinion this is the best diagnostic tool for 2024 and i do recommend it okay we just code the module and now we go back we go completely back okay now we go on the health report we'll scan the car will be nice in the future if they will make update also on this one to have this topology system should be a really good improvement to have this view but of course for this money you cannot complain it's important to make his job we delete all these codes This was the parking brake. Of course, it doesn't go from here. You should repair it. Okay, we still have issues here. I will switch off. And on again. And we go on the engine issue just to identify the V number 3619. We go back and now we go on FRM module. This one have a dimer potentiometer faulty because he installed all this shit in the car and it's not the original one. We go here. three six one nine it's exactly what we want to have it when you see here part number is zero 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 it can be possible then cg 100 to delete this shit but i don't care the car works perfect it is coded your job is done and this is most important on the end of the video i tell you i do recommend this small tablet it's not so important the size of the tablet is important what you can do it's really cheap. Don't expect to have a good diagnostic tool for 200 euro. Don't ask me which tablet I can have for 200 euro. I tell you honest, I buy a tablet from Lenovo with 11 inch, 6 gig of RAM. And that one, it cost me 300 euro. Then you cannot have a diagnostic for 300 euro. You can have only the DBS Car 7 for 300 euro, 350 euro. Okay. And if you decide to go and buy a software from Diagzone, it will cost you also around 120 euro with all this option. And if you buy also a tablet for 300 euro, you'll see you'll be much more expensive than to have a tool like this one. It's up to you if you buy or not. Each one use the tool what he want to use it, or it depends also on the possibility for each one. I'll make also a different video where I will show you a low budget uh, tool from the company launch, but that one is not for professional, it's more for, I don't know, I said, it's under DIY level, okay? It's for hobby. But that tool, it's also under the, I don't know, expectation. It cannot do so much only to scan and delete the faults. But for that one, I will make a separate video. On the end of the video, for BMW, it's quite good. We give also a try on Mercedes and also on VAC companies. And we see what it's capable to, to do, okay? I will close the video. I will tell you thank you for watching. And see us to the next one. Bye-bye.